What's up everybody, it's your boy JJ Sally, aka John Sally, aka your friend in the neighborhood, Sally man. And I know I've been quiet for the last few days, but uh, I felt like I was on the verge of something, like a breakthrough. As far as ranking videos was concerned on YouTube, and I was planning on focusing on YouTube and cutting back on Facebook. Because YouTube is evergreen traffic and uh, it helps you rank on Google which is basically YouTube's ba baby uh, big brother and uh, come to find out I was checking out the video I had just recently uh, published earlier in the day I was uh, at my friend's job supporting her and uh, my video was gone. So I did some more research and I couldn't find my channel. Come to find out, my account was suspended, which basically means terminated. <clears throat> and my biggest question, I immediately tried to, what was the word, uh, appeal it, but I was told that same day, a couple hours later, that my appeal was uh, it turned down. <clears throat> it's been turned down a few times since then, two or three times since then. I finally last night figured out why. And uh, scam and spam is what I was told in the initial email that went to the trash folder. So let me get this straight. I was spamming and scamming. <laughs> Yet there's some million, tens, thousands of, well, not a million, thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of channels about that, like ESPN clips with uh, scammy, uh, clickbait type titles that might say, you know, Stephen A. Smith talks about. LeBron James and Stephen A. Smith ain't even in the clip and there is not a reaction video it's taped from you know a DVR straight on YouTube the same day or boondocks streaming 24 7 or the Simpsons or whatever streaming 24 7 that's not to mention all the, you'll make a thousand dollars in four hours with no work, setting this up one time, et cetera, et cetera, or, or hack Cash App or hack PayPal. I don't want this to be a rant. It just struck me the wrong way because the stuff I, I promote, I, t I take very good care to promote stuff that mostly has been around for years and years and years. And or I know people have made money or I've made money with it personally. I take great care not to you know, I, I, I make a, try to make a point to promise people that if they don't work, you know, even though I might try to help them, they're not likely to make any money. Especially, I'm not going to focus on trying to make you money if I don't see you making an effort. If you're making an effort, I'm going to help you. But, uh... I've been kicking myself in, more than try, importantly, trying to figure out, trying to get YouTube to tell me why. I finally got, found the message in the trash folder. At least I have an idea of where I go. I guess I've been shutting a lot of people down lately. Established people. It's just funny because not only can I not post to YouTube, uh, and I've been posting for years and years, and I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. 
but I lost all my subscriptions as just a viewer too. I can't, and all my lists that I made just as a viewer. Like I can't even, like I had channels that, that would come up automatically. I can't do that anymore. But no matter, my, my main point of this is Don't let what somebody says, or don't let what somebody happens, like Facebook jail, or whatever it might be, or a, a temporary setback, stop you. Take a few hours, or a couple days, two, three days, to focus on what is going to your next move, and get to it doesn't matter if this is about making money from home or making money online if you lose your starting spot in high school pros college or you cut back in a job take you some time lick your wounds you're not probably not in the right mindset to be doing what's normally you do anyway and focus on what you're gonna do. I don't know why it went down. They supposedly fixed my my connection, but it's about half of what it should be. Anyways, don't let anybody what anybody says or what any company does stop you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. I don't know if you believe in God or not. I happen to do it. I don't talk about it too much. But life is going to put obstacles in your path. It's about you. It's like when you first drove, rode a bike. You probably fell a few times, maybe more than a few times. Did you stop that from letting you learning how to ride a bike? Or did you get back on the bike and keep going? And pretty soon, it was like second nature. I can get on a bike right now and ride it, and I probably haven't been on a bike in 20 something years. If you're learning skills, It can translate, no matter what. It was disappointing, especially after four minutes after I put up a video to see I was in number one ranking in one of my videos and all three were on the first page of YouTube. Hopefully soon to be on Google in a month or so or a couple weeks or so. And I was planning on that being my main source of traffic, because I don't really particularly care for recruiting. I appreciate you coming in. I can't see who you are. Let me know for those that just that are here or coming in the future. Hashtag live if you're watching this live. Hashtag replay if you're watching this on the replay. My main point is not a rant. My main point is don't let anything stop you from accomplishing your goals. There's gonna be bad days. There might be bad weeks or even bad months. Your current situation doesn't determine your future. If you quit, I know there's a image of a, it's not a, like a gif or anything like that. It just shows the person quitting and they're uh, like a they have the little pick, and they're like mining for diamonds. And they were just like inches, maybe not even a foot, away from the diamonds, and they quit. Who knows when your diamonds or your gold is on the next side? Especially if you plugging away, always working on your skill set 
always hustling, trying to put out good content out there. And branding yourself. People know me, people, I'm not out there like, you know, some gurus that I follow or some gurus that I know that don't really appreciate making seven figures or anything like that or even six figures yet. But I do realize what I gotta do to stand out from the crowd which is hustle and brand myself. Forget who it was just the other day. One of the, I think the biggest account on Instagram, I'm sorry I don't remember his particular name. This is a sports figure, I think he's either from football or basketball. And he, uh, he makes, he has the most followers on, you know, the NFL or NBA. And he actually temporarily disabled himself his Instagram post, his Instagram account. Like he signed off and whatever. Why would he do that? There wasn't any particular controversy. Maybe he's planning for what he's going to do in a month or two when he comes back. Maybe it's going to even be bigger and better. Who knows? Or maybe he needs some time to himself. But my guess is he'll be back sooner than later. It's important to lick your wounds, but not for too long. You can't let things stop you. You can't let any make don't make mountains out of molehills molehills yeah i said molehills molehills you got to be willing to look at the big picture and not the short picture if something stops you temporarily it doesn't have to stop you permanently i'm going to get back to the rest of my walk sorry if you heard that little notification in the background my friend's messaging me. I want to get back to her and I want to get back to the rest of my walk. I hope I didn't rant too much. I hope I can help. Even if I can help one person today or next week, whenever you might view this, then I'm doing my job. Hey, have a good one. It's your boy JJ Solly, aka John Solly, aka Yo Friendly Neighborhood Solly Man. And I'll catch you in the next one. You have a good one. Stay, have a blessed day. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>